Uh, but um, this is a nice movie. Okay, you know, it's, you uh, the go. acting is good. Thank uh, you. Uh, gets the message across. Yeah. It was nice to see you. And um, this, of course, is a, uh, a very serious movie with very, done very well with uh, emotions and also humor. And uh, interesting, America has seen you grow up, I mean, through different films. And uh, now you're a um, teen mother who's pregnant and has a baby and for keeps. Uh, and the role really runs the emotional gamut for you, I mean, everything. What drew you to the part of uh, Darcy? I mean, uh, you obviously offered many roles. Why do you want to do this one? Uh, well, I think originally when I first read the script, what attracted me to it was the subject of teenage pregnancy, which is a, a very serious subject. Um, it's gotten very out of hand in our society. Uh, more so than any other country and uh, I really felt like there weren't that many projects being done on the subject on television or in films especially in films though mm -hmm. um, and whenever there was anything done on teenage pregnancy it was usually a documentary on film um, you know that showed on television and it was so depressing that I didn't really feel like it was reaching anybody I mean it, it wasn't even reaching me you mm -hmm. know it just gets so depressing that you don't really want to deal with it you know, but it's a subject that needs to be dealt with and discussed. And so I felt like this was an interesting approach to that subject. You know, it had a lot of humor and a lot of romance, but it still, you know, managed to uh, paint a pretty realistic picture about what it can be like. And uh, we see you in this role, and as I say, it does uh, have a number of emotions which uh, you emote on screen. How much of uh, Darcy is in Molly and vice versa? Uh, well, I think it's very much a character. You know, I'm different from all the characters I play. Of course, a lot of myself creeps into th those characters. I mean, when you grow up your entire life doing certain things, having certain characteristics, talking a certain way, it's sort of hard to get rid of all that mm -hmm. when you mm -hmm. play a character. So I'm sure that there's a lot of Molly in every character that I play, certain things that people can recognize from role to role to role, you know. But um, this character in particular was so different from me. I mean, obviously, I've never gone through that experience of having a baby or a husband or anything like that and uh, and she's also grown up in a much different envi environment than I have you know she only had one mother and in a small town um, she isn't an actress so right. obviously there's a difference there so I would say it's pretty different than myself and uh, with this film dealing with such a serious subject uh, of teen pregnancy uh, with a nice balance as we say with drama and humor uh, walking away from the experience after finishing it uh, how did this experience color your perception, your ideas about teen pregnancy? Mm -hmm. Well, I've always been fairly practical about what I've wanted in my life. You know, I mean, I date and I have mm -hmm. boyfriends and everything, but right now I think that um, my career um, and my uh, youth is more important to me. You know, I don't think that it's the right time to have a baby or a husband or anything. I mean, you know, and I think that probably goes for most young kids out there. Um, but I don't know because I can't speak for other people. Um, but certainly after doing this film and dealing with a baby day in and day out, and uh, s strangely enough, a lot of the mothers of these babies that we used, there was about, I don't know the exact number, probably about 12 because we had the one baby and then a whole bunch of standby babies. But a lot of the mothers of these kids were teenage parents, so it was really interesting for me to observe them and talk to them. And uh, I mean, it was. It was like I'd walk off the set and I was still in the movie, you know, it was really interesting. And uh, I certainly realized what an enormous responsibility that it is to have a baby. And I hope that people realize that after they see this movie. I think they will. Uh, and uh, pardon me if I nod off because, of course, I've been waking up at four in the morning myself. And uh, <laughs> it's very interesting. A lot of fun. I'm glad to, get, I'm glad to be here to sleep. But what, uh, dealing with the babies, what uh, was the most challenging aspect for you as far as, because uh, um, you don't have babies. I mean, was it uh, difficult dealing with uh, the different idiosyncrasies um, they do? Well, there were two things that were difficult. One was imagining what it would be like to have a baby myself. Um, the birth scene, of course, having the baby on camera, you know, I've never had one, so I, I don't know that feeling. I mean, I can imagine and I hear, you know, from everybody, the mothers on the set, from my own mother, what it's like, but I will never know until I have a child myself. Uh, so that was difficult, and also going through all the different stages of pregnancy and not really knowing what that's like. I had no personal experience to draw on, so that was a real challenge. And then also, um, dealing with the baby itself in a scene is so different from anything that I've ever done before. It really taught me not to be so selfish. You know, you really have to think about somebody else other than yourself. You know, because babies don't understand take one, take two, take three. They're like there until 
they've had enough and then they're saying, okay, no more. So a lot of times, whatever I did just completely depended on the mood of the baby. And may I say, the uh, delivery scene? Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> very good. It brought a tear to my eye. It reminded me of uh, seven weeks ago and uh, well, it, it was very well done. It was very well done. Uh, this, whole, this role adds another character uh, to the many uh, in your progression of your career. Um, after your experiences of, in For Keeps, uh, how do you think this role has helped you grow as, a, as an actress and helped you further your craft? Um, well, in every role that I do, I try to do something different than I did last time. Uh, that's the main thing for me. I mean, obviously the material has to be good and I'm concerned about who's directing and who's, you know, doing the film. But um, most importantly, the, the role has to be challenging for me in some way. I don't, I feel like I'm cheating myself and everybody else out there if I sort of just sleepwalk through, you know, my work. It's very important for me to do something different and to offer something different in myself. So that's what I continue to do with each role. And do we see you in, in different roles playing, you know, diverse characters? Uh, let's find out away from the set for a second. If we were to take the camera crew with us today, with Molly, one day off the set, what would we come back with when we came back to the editing room? What would an average day in the life of Molly be like? Uh, well, that pretty much depends on whether or not I'd be working. You know, when I'm working, I'm very concentrated and have crazy hours. Um, and I don't really do anything except work. You know, I don't really have time to, to do anything except work and sleep and <laughs> work and sleep. Um, when I'm not working, it's usually just hanging out with my friends and my family and uh, shopping, you know, for whatever, clothes, my house, books, reading, you know, just, I guess, fairly boring, normal things. <laughs> right, right. Well, um, you know, you've, uh, we've grown up with you and we've seen your progression and this is yet another role that has uh, helped to further your career and it's a wonderful part and we look forward to good success for, for Keeps and thank you for talking with us. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thanks again. Okay. But uh, as I say, it was really, you know, really realistic, a lot of the stuff.